Water Manager General, ladies and gentlemen. Hi everyone. Hi. Hi. <laughs> All good. Yeah. Um, okay, Pedro's here, and BBC Scotland. Want to start us off? Pedro, yeah, right. Uh, thought it was an impressive performance. Just want to get your overall thoughts and analysis on tonight's match. Well, at first, uh, we're disappointed because we came here to win, and I think that means uh, the ambition that we have as a team, staff, and, and as a family, we wanted to come here to compete and to play the football that we can play. I think we did in some some moments. I think just I don't speak about referees normally, but I think there's a clear penalty and and can change also the game. I think England also was an excellent level for some moments, but also Scotland was brilliant in many other moments. I hope people enjoy it. And I think this is what the performance does this team can put together and we want to, to do it again in the next matches. It wasn't just the penalty shot, there was chances as well on the counter and some low balls across that were so, so close and the crossbar of the second half as well. Yeah, I think there's two teams who prepare to the details. This is the next level of the women's game and this is where we are bringing this team and as well as this is the level that Sarina and, and the England players are bringing the team to. So I think it's incredible for the game, the atmosphere, again, we are not still happy. We will never be happy losing games, but we want the ambition to, to win games. We had the feeling that we could get a, uh, something else than losing the game, uh, but now the only thing we can do is to take the positives, to continue building, to make sure we can recover and go again on Tuesday. And you've said a big thing is the change in mentality, which has been there in your time. What does tonight do for the change in mentality going forward in the players? Well, I think especially we showed in the second half. I think. Is a, we are a team that we need to give uh, our identity, which is work hard, which is a uh, level of pressing, aggression, go to goal as quick as we can, but also we want to have the ball. I think both teams, we proposed similar things during the game. I think there were moments where we showed it our level. I think still we can do it better on the ball. Uh, and also defensively, we were good, uh, concentrated, the, the dirty part of the game. I think we, both teams, we had to play that at some moment. And yeah, in the last minutes, I think it was England who was ha having has been forced to play that part of the game because the Scotland was good. And finally, a win for Belgium, I think it was tonight against the Netherlands, so that sets things up for for Tuesday now. Yeah, I think every game, I think in this level, if we are at our level, is going to be decided for small margins. And today it was decided on the side of England, but next time we hope we can can be decided, you know, football sometimes take you things from you, but then also other times give you things that you keep working, and I think this team is, is ready to put a good performance again on Tuesday and, and the following games. Thank you, Pedro. You're welcome. Pedro, can I just ask you, to go back to the penalty, um, did you have any dialogue at all with the assistant, and what did Martha say about it? For me, the only way I speak is because I, I have seen it very clear uh, live, and I have no question, so... Yes, I, obviously we are polite in this level, so I say I think it's a clear penalty. I, don't, I can't do anything else just to, to tell my opinion. Uh, so I think, yeah, ho hopefully we have another other day. The decision is on our side. That's also part of football. Martha looked particularly aggrieved in the aftermath. She clearly felt as though she'd been impeded. Yeah, I think it's a clear contact from behind, so it's very easy to perceive that that was a penalty. But that's nothing we can do now. Is it frustrating for you that you leave with a very Scotland story, a plucky story of courage and bravery in the second half, but, but little to show for it? No, no, I think we, we uh, the perception can be that, but I think we came here to win. That's, the, well, that's what we have said from the beginning. I think we show it that we wanted to win, as well as England, and, and we will continue with this idea to not be in a scare. I think in the first 20 minutes probably it took some time for us to adapt to the scenario. But that's where we are here. It was it was a, an incredible atmosphere, and we want to to be ready for these scenarios if we want to play major tournaments. And I think the, all my recognition to my team, the players and staff, because I think they put everything on the pitch. Thanks, Pedro. Were you tempted in the closing stages to change formation at all? You freshened up the legs, but was there any temptation? Or were you happy with how that was going? No, I think in the second half we were trying to think uh, solutions to 
yeah, to, to damage England more. But I, I felt we had the momentum. So sometimes not doing anything is the best thing. Uh, but also the when the fatigue appear, you don't know how much the, the players are going to be capable to do efforts. When we felt the fatigue was appearing, then we made the substitution. And at the very end, we were we were going to change the formation, but I think the Christy Hanson situation appeared, so we had to just adapt to that situation as part of our job. Uh, we wanted to be a little more direct, but I think England also controlled well the last minute, so I think that's yes, part of competing. Um, yeah, how is Kirsty? Do you know so what, what the injury was? I have not the full medical report, but I think she's okay. I think okay. she's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And just a quick one on Emma Watson wasn't in the squad today. Can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, we have a just medical issue with her in the last training, uh, and we can't provide further information, but she was not available for today. One more, Pedro. Amy Gallagher came on for her debut after getting her first call up, and that will be really promising for the players domestically in Scotland and the Scottish Women's Premier League too. That there's opportunities there. It's a, a strong depth that you've got, but there's a chance and you're willing to to give them call ups when the performances are there to, to back up. Yeah, I think one of the the secrets of this team is uh, for a long time, not today, the players come to camp, put everything. They have been uh, their their attitude and. and and capable and capability to to produce trainings at training sessions at the high level and to understand details for the preparation for the big games has been unbelievable. Then you have to give them time to transform this one in performances also too. So the other objective that we have is also to increase the standards of the team, not at the top but also at the bottom. So the players who are joining the team uh, for a long time ago, every day to train better and better. So we wish we could have more time with them, but international windows are short. And this is what is happening. I think players like Jamie Lee, Amy Gallagher, Lisa Evans, who is very experienced, but coming to give us a very good level of competitiveness in training. I think that competitiveness in training and that feeling of fighting for a position in a healthy way and following the same idea is what will help us to, to continue improving. And, and that's one of the secrets of, for example, this performance today. Hi, Pedro. Um, you seem Hello. to have some success in the wide areas against England's sort of back three with the wing backs. Was that something that you'd seen during the World Cup and deliberately wanted to try and target tonight? I think it's both ways. I think England also has a lot of dangerous situation in the wide area. So, yeah, I think we both have to play our, our way, especially with the England, as you know, she's, they have been using two for different formations. Today they use the three in the back, so naturally, tactically, you are going to have a space there, but obviously I think I can see how Lucy Bronze was very focused on trying to stop Kirsty Hansen. Kirsty Hansen was very focused on stop Lucy Bronze. So it's how much when you're winning the battle, then Kirsty was very important in the game for us. And in, in the first half, it was pretty much maybe more Lucy. Um, well, first you have to win the battle in the middle. I think uh, football is played in the middle. You have to be solid defensively. When you are solid defensively, then you are in the game. And then when the ball can pass through the middle, I think England has a very important players individually and collectively. And we also have some players. Uh, and I think when our players were comfortable to appear and find the space to progress, we were we looked dangerous. And that caused us to explode the wide areas. I think one of these crosses could, could go into. But yeah, that's part of the game. Uh, and congratulations on the extended contract, which was announced. Um, could we just get your reaction on that? And maybe just how much is the World Cup the target in mind with that extension to 27? Well, first for me, it's a privilege. Uh, to represent Scotland and to be part of this group. and they were, uh, I decided to stand the contract because I feel this is my team and this is where my heart is and this is where the work has been put from the players and the staff. And now we are in a situation where we, we are looking for the objectives and I think it's important that we all know where we are and, and, and we have a, a clear vision together. So very proud to be given the opportunity from the SFA, but I think it's even, even more than the, from the SFA, it's for, for the whole country and I hope we can inspire the whole nation and I think this, this kind of games, yes, we didn't win the game, but I think people in Scotland would feel proud of what the players did today. Uh, even saying that we are not happy because we didn't win, which was our objective, but I think that's what we can continue building. Thanks, Pedro. You're welcome. All good? Excellent. Thank you, Thank guys. You.